What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the best places to visit in Wales. To be honest, I feel, like most Americans, that I don't know anything about Wales. It might be the most underappreciated of the four countries in the UK, I think, especially for us Americans. So today, I'm excited to see some of the most amazing places in Wales for the very first time. So, with that being said, let's take a look. Number 10, Aberystwyth. This university seaside town in mid Wales oh is a must visit location. Oh my goodness, look at this. What the heck? This is this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of thing you just do not see here in the United States. What is this called? Aber Aberwiths Aberswith or <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no way I'm pronouncing this correctly, but that doesn't matter. This is absolutely beautiful. This is like a seaside coastal town. Well, when I think about it, I guess Wales is like mostly coast, isn't it? Like there's a lot of coast. It's so amazing to think about because here in the United States, like most of us are on the inside. It's so gigantic that we don't see the coast all that much if, if you're not living near the, the western or eastern end. So let's keep going here. The town centre has a load of great shops, cafes, bars and restaurants. Yeah. And the trip up Constitution Hill will give you excellent views across the town and surrounding wow. coast. Aberystwyth is ideal for a weekend break or maybe just a day out. Oh, and we This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that beach. I don't... This is like... <laughs> I didn't know this was like Rome, Italy or something. I don't know what about this is like... I don't know how to describe the architecture here. It's very European to me. Um, and then combined with just like the, the beach and the ocean and the mountain, it, it, it's awesome. This is an awesome town. When you go there, you've got to grab some fish and chips from the Pier Chippy. Yeah. You won't be disappointed. Okay. Number nine, the Brecon Beacons. This okay. national park offers outstanding natural beauty and charming towns and villages. <laughs> the Brecon Beacons. Are there little sheep walking around Beacons. too? This national park... Look, right there. There Are these sheep... Walking around in, in the wild in Wales, is that a thing? Offers outstanding natural beauty and charming towns and villages. Wow. Located in South Wales, the Brecon Beacons is home to Penny Fan, South Wales' largest mountain, which is actually quite a manageable walk for anyone, regardless of... Oh my god, look at this. This is freaking nature right here. This is nature, oh my gosh. These are just some of the most amazing landscapes. Fitness, ish. There are a number of stunning waterfalls and two incredible mountain passes which allow you to soak in the beautiful sea. What the heck? This looks like something out of a movie or something. You do. Like I'm saying, this is just not stuff you really find in the United States. Like, what is this? This just like <laughs> endless, vast landscape. It looks like Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> Scenery from the comfort of your own vehicle if you're lazy like me. One to check out is the Black Mountain Road Circuit. It's okay. actually amazing. Okay, okay. And moving on to number eight, it's the Blue Lagoon at Aberidi. Cool. So Blue this former Lagoon. slate quarry in Pembrokeshire is a unique and must-see location. Oh. The quarry here. Oh, is this it? Like right here? It's kind of like a small area. Blue Lagoon. Is this something you can like go into the water? Are you allowed to like swim here? Or are you just supposed to admire the, the natural beauty? It was abandoned and flooded many years ago, making it perfect for co-steering, kayaking, and cliff oh, jumping yeah. into the deep hey. turquoise blue waters. There you go. Oh yeah, you can absolutely like swim or kayak or... This feels like some kind of special secret spot or something. Except now, tons of people know about this on the internet. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you go to Blue Lagoon, it looks like there's only like 10 or 20 people there. So it's not that crowded, uh, right here anyway. There are some superb views along the cliff top here, and there's also a wheelchair and buggy friendly path so it can be wow. enjoyed by all. Just be careful, the water is deep and very cold, and if you're a wimp like me, <laughs> probably don't bother jumping in. This is like some cool, like, hangout spot, basically. That Okay, that's awesome. In number seven, not far from Blue Lagoon, is Strumble Head Lighthouse. Strumble now this head? has to be one of the most scenic spots in the whole of the UK. Let Strumble Head, I have 
I've never heard of this. I've never heard of any of these places. Wales is completely new territory for me, and I'm loving it. This is... This, talk about something that looks out of, like, a fantasy movie or something. This is like a lighthouse on a little island. It's called Strumblehead. That's a great name. <laughs> alone just Wales. Originally constructed in 1908, the lighthouse sits okay. on St. Michael's Island and is a top location to spot dolphins. Wow, are you are you allowed to go inside of the lighthouse? Or is there anything you can do in this little building here? Or is it really just for admiring uh, the coast and the lighthouse and, and taking pictures and stuff? On a nice day, Strumblehead makes for an epic photo. So make sure you've got your camera okay. or your phone ready. There you go. And now let's get back into it with number six, St. David's. Oh. Now a trip to Pembrokeshire in Wales is not complete without exploring Britain's smallest city. What is this? Britain's smallest city. This is called St. David's. Is this like a cathedral or something? It looks like a... Now a trip to Pembrokeshire in Wales. It looks like a castle combined with a cathedral or something. It's called St. David's. Is St. David's the name of this area or of this building, actually? It's not complete without exploring Britain's smallest city. Its main attraction is the impressive St. David's Cathedral, which was constructed okay. in 1181. Okay, this is, it's St. David's Cathedral, and this is also a city. This is Britain's smallest city. What, what is the difference between a, a large town and a small city? Is there a technical, de either way, who cares? Smallest city in Britain, uh, and are you allowed to, inside to explore? This sort of old cathedral? That's amazing if you can be. See, this is why we cannot have cool stuff like this here in America. I feel like people would just go inside and, I don't know, try to ch chip off a piece of the wall and take it home with them. Like, Americans aren't always that trustworthy. That's the problem. We can't have cool public stuff like this That's that's old. Yeah. The city has many fabulous independent cafes, restaurants, and shops that are definitely worth a mooch wow. while you're here. Number five, huh. Snowdonia National Park. Okay. Located in the north of Wales, Snowdonia has everything from vast mountain landscapes to epic oh, sandy beaches. Oh, wow. This is epic. Epic is the correct word. This is called Snowdonia, and he said this is a, a national park. How big is this? Now, while you're up here, you could climb up Wales' highest mountain, Mount Snowdon, oh. which has several routes up. Oh, cool. Personally, oh, cool. I'd recommend taking the pig track up. Even this stuff, he said, oh, this is actually a trail you can take up. Wales' biggest mountain is here as well. This would just be like the most epic hiking outdoors. I don't know. It just feels like, at least from, from what I'm seeing in this video here today, like the, the people in Wales must be so much more connected to nature in a way to have natural beauty like this just be normal that's that's really something very special like truly something i can't wrap my mind around living in a place like this that it's really special up and the mine is down the Watkin path has some beautiful waterfalls great for taking a plunge into Cool. Snowdonia is also home to UNESCO World Heritage oh, Sites wow, at Conway. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, this, is like a, this is like a legit castle, um, like in the middle of a city? And Harlick Castle. Wow. Now, if you're heading to Snowdonia, you're going to need at least a weekend, huh. possibly more, but it's a great place to visit. And, and you look must... at this. What is this? This is part of the National Park. This is like a waterfall. What the heck is this? This is like the coolest stuff I've ever seen, all in Wales. Of all places, who knew? Who knew? I knew this was underrated. Go there. In at number four is Anglesey, a massively underrated part of Wales, if you ask me. Anglesey, wow. It's like another lighthouse. <laughs> Wales has these like super special lighthouses. It's like you can go around traveling, try to catch all the lighthouses. How many, how many lighthouses on little islands that are stunningly picturesque uh, can Wales possibly have? This is called... Ang Anglesey. Anglesey is an island off the northwest coast, which I like to describe wow. as a mini Wales. This huh. island has such diverse huh. landscapes, from magnificent sandy beaches to beautiful... Oh, did he say this is an island uh, off of Wales? Wales. This island has such diverse... 
northwest coast, which I like to describe as a mini Wales. Huh. This island has such diverse mini landscapes Wales. from magnificent sandy beaches to beautiful lush wow. forests. Some of the main... What the... Like, what is going on? Like, this is... This is just not something I can relate to. That there's a whole town or city next to, like, a beautiful, vast ocean water, beaches, and a freaking castle as well. Like, this doesn't seem real to me. Like, this is this is just regular life for some people in Wales. Like, what? Attractions here include South Stack Lighthouse, ah. Flandwin Island, Beaumaris Castle, and the Menai Suspension Bridge. Wow. If you're looking for a place packed with things to... This is... I mean, it's like every... 10 seconds, there's a new picturesque view um, that I just have to stop and admire for a sec. This has a dog as well. Got to appreciate that. <laughs> See and do, and you're short on time. Honestly, Anglesey is the perfect Welsh destination. Wow. And now there's only three left, so we're going to go in at number three, Tenby. Tenby. Arguably Wales's most scenic seaside town. Oh. There's a lot to love about Tenby. Oh, okay. Surrounded by, okay. Um, <laughs> by historic <medieval laughs> Of course, I uh, paused it right here. Of course, that's where I pause it. Why? <laughs> Tenby has a maze of narrow. Okay, now I can. <laughs> All right, now I can pause it again. Excuse, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> that was an accident. Um, <laughs> yeah, what were we talking about? Tenby. This is Wales' most picturesque town, um, and it looks like the buildings were very colorful, and it's also. It, are most of the cities or towns in, in Wales, like, just by the water as well? That's pretty amazing. Row streets packed with quirky shops, cafes, and restaurants. Yeah, okay. It also has three terrific beaches and has much to see and do. The thing about Tenby is once you've been there, I promise you you're going to fall in love with the place and yeah. you'll just want to go there again and again and again. Wow. That's what happened to me. And in number two... Uh, okay, so we are on to number two, and then... I'm very curious, what is number one in this whole list? Because this list has been insane. Like, these places are crazy in the best way possible. Like, crazy like I can't wrap my head around this stuff. Uh, Wales is absolutely beautiful. And I know this is just a small snapshot of what it has to offer. Number two is Bar Barafundal Bay. Okay. It's Barafundal Bay. Now, this place has been voted many times as one of the UK's best beaches. Oh, really? And what's interesting about Barrafundal is that it's a Ooh. hidden gem, only accessible. Whoa. Wait a minute. I've never seen a beach like this. Uh, he, he was saying this is hard to get to. This beach is, like, surrounded on all sides by grass and, like, nature. And then there's just a giant beach. It seems almost like a hidden gem or something. Uh, how do you get here? It's best beaches. And what's interesting about Barrafundal is that it's a hidden gem, only accessible via a 20 minute walk from Stackpole Quay. Oh. But trust me, this place is 100% worth it. Wow. Barrafundal is backed by dunes and pine trees, and this beautiful sandy bay is the ideal location. What the heck? Look at this. This is insane. This is awesome. I have never seen a beach like this. It's, it's got, like, rocks over there, then, like, little hills and a f forest on the other side. And the way it's just surrounded by nature. And I love that it takes a 20-minute walk to get there. It makes it more secluded. Looks like there's only 100 or so people on the beach here at any given time. That That's amazing, like, honestly. Vacation for a Pembrokeshire beach day. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow. If the weather isn't great, what am I going to do? Honestly, I would still go and check out this secret spot. Yeah. And you can take your dog. This is, this is, this is awesome. Like, this is, this deserves to be number two. If this is number two, what is number one? Uh, it's dog friendly. So, yeah, incredible, incredible place. Definitely deserves the number two spot. That's so cool. And finally, in number one, it's Rosili Bay and the Gower Peninsula. Okay. The UK's first designated area of outstanding natural beauty. The Gower Peninsula is located in South Wales, just to the west of Swansea. What the heck? What the heck is this? This is Rosalie and Gower. It's a peninsula. It features many iconic beaches and miles. Oh my god! This is. I thought the. I thought the last beach. What was that beach called? Uh, Barra Fundal Bay. I thought that was amazing. This looks like ten times bigger. The miles of stunning coastline. The pinnacle oh of the Gower is Rosili Bay, 
This is honestly my favorite beach in the whole of Wales, wow. and it's been described. Oh my god, this makes you feel like tiny. I, this makes me feel weird, like <laughs> in a good way. Like it makes nature seem so big. Look how tiny the people are swimming. They're like little ants. This beach is huge, and the ocean is huge. Right as the supermodel of British beaches by the Independent. Wow. Oh, this is this is like considered like one of the most beautiful of all British beaches, huh? Rosilli is an unsport three mile stretch of pure bliss. Three Honestly, miles. Honestly, you'll be amazed by this place and I highly recommend a visit if you're in South Wales. Wow. That is freaking massive and beautiful. Three miles, he said. And just a little quick tip, if you don't fancy walking up and down some very, very steep steps, park hmm. at the Hill End Camping Park, which will get you to within about 50 metres of the beach. Unbelievable. And there we have it, the top 10 must-see locations in Wales for 2023. This oh, country is, is mesmerizing, honestly, mesmerizing. I could just stare at this giant beach all day. A lot of these things were pretty amazing to me. This was a great video. This was by uh, Robbie Romes. And I got to give that a like. That was a fantastic video. Fantastic list. Um, 10, these were what he says for the top 10 must-see places in Wales. And that did not disappoint. Like I said, like as an American, I haven't seen Wales, like almost at all. Uh, I don't know what's in Wales. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. And it's beautiful. It's very nature-y. Um, the cities are beautiful. They got castles and historical architecture and usually are by water and beaches and or mountains and hills and vast open expanses of grass and nature. Like Wales is an amazing place. Very, very, very different than the United States, but in a great way. Um, like I said, kind of like stuff I only see in movies, really, but it's real. And that's... That, that's what kind of made it incredible to sit back and enjoy this stuff for the first time. So I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on any of these places in Wales or any places that maybe deserved to be on this list that weren't. That'd be awesome to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain and British culture and seeing things in Britain for the first time, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.